Friends, today I will be demonstrating you the special test for knee ligaments. The first and the most commonly performed test is an anterior draw test. We ask the patient to bend the knee in about 70 to 90 degrees of flexion and then maybe sit on the foot of the patient to stabilize the knee and then we use our both of the, these hands to actually pull the tibia forwards of the femur. If it is more than 5 mm, it, it is a positive anterior draw test. The sensitivity of uh, anterior draw test is around 94% in a regular examination and around 96% in a uh, anesthesia anesthetized patient. But anterior draw test is usually not positive in an acute setting. In an acute setting, the patient will have tense hematosis and you may have a false negative anterior draw test. So, usually in an acute setting, we perform a test which is called as a Lachman's test. And the Lachman's test is performed in about 5 to 10 degrees of knee flexion and we usually stabilize the thigh with one of our arm and we use other hand to be uh, to hold the tibia and we test the knee translation like this so this is called as a Lachman's test now Lachman's test can still be performed in an acute knee and in acute knee its sensitivity and specificity is better than a anterior draw test the third test that we perform for ligament injury is a posterior draw test. So in this test again we sit on the foot of the patient and we press the tibia backwards. And if the tibia moves more than 5 mm posteriorly and we can feel a step here from the femur to the tibia, this is a posterior draw positive. The third, fourth test we see is the posterior sag sign. So normally what happens if there is a PCL injury, the tibia will sag back backwards. So we just hold the knee like this in a 90 degrees angle and the knee will be sagging down like this. And we can see a sag and then when we extend the knee slowly, the sag will automatically reduce. So with extension, the sag will be better and with flexion, the sag will be more. This is called as a posterior sag sign. Now, we must know that they can have false positive and false negatives of the post anterior drawers. So if the knee has a locked meniscus, if it is a tense hemarthrosis, then the anterior drawer can be falsely negative because the locked meniscus or the tense hemarthrosis will not allow the knee to be uh, translated anteriorly. So they can have false, uh, false positives. Occasionally, a false negative anterior draw test may be seen in those patients in which ACL is healed with the PCL. So, there is a vertically, the uh, ligament is attached, so the anterior draw will not be as prominent because the ACL is torn but it is healed to the, uh, to the posterior cruciate ligament. So, then it will be a false uh, negative anterior draw test. So, there is another test which is called as a pivot shift test which is a test which combines a translationary and a rotatory movement. So what it is, is we extend the knees completely, we keep our hand on the thigh laterally and then we slowly try to flex and extend the knee. And those patients who have a rotatory instability of the ACL, typically the injury of the posterior lateral bundle of the ACL, those patients will have injuries of uh, have a strongly positive pivot shift test. Pivot shift test is a sign of rotatory instability and this is also a test which we can use to follow up our patients with ACL reconstruction. It has a good sensitivity and specificity but again if the patient is having a locked knee or if, if the patient is a tense hemarthrosis then it will not be positive. The fourth test is a Lely's test. So in the Lely's test we keep uh, uh, it's also called the Lely's test is also called, called as a lever's test, and in this uh, there is a uh, pi uh, there is a pillow or a, a mug which we keep on the calf of the patient, and then we press the knee up, press the thigh down, and whenever we press the knee, press the thigh down like this, the thigh will jump up like this. So when we press the quadriceps down, the heel will rise up like this. So when we press it down the heel will rise up. So this is a positive Lily's test. If the ACL is torn, the liver action will be gone. So when we press it down, 
this the the translation of this force will not be on the heel and the uh, of, and the femur will go down and the tibia will go up so it will be a loss of lever action and the heel will not go up so this is called as a lelis test and it is also a good test specifically both in a opd setup as well as an or setup as i told you if you do all of these tests then your sensitivity and specificity will increase uh, the other part of this uh, talk is a uh, valgus and varus instability test so these tests are usually performed with knee in full extension and then you apply a varus and a valgus force and then you bend the knee at 30 degrees and then apply a varus and valgus force a pure mcl and a pure lcl injury will signify a uh, opening on a varus and valgus instability at 30 degree of flexion whereas if the patient has a opening of the joint at 0 degrees of flexion 0 degree of uh, flexion then it is suggestive of a multi ligament injury that is an mcl along with a posterior oblique ligament and a L, uh, or an lcl with a posterior lateral corner so if the patient is unstable at 0 degrees it is a more high grade injury and if it is a solitary mcl or lcl injury then the patient will have a varus or valgus laxity at 30 degrees so 30 degrees valgus and valgus uh, varus uh, uh, instability test would be positive if you have any doubts regarding these tests you can please write us on the comment box and don't forget forget to subscribe our channel advanced hospitals thank you